My name is Lieutenant Colonel Les Snodgrass. I'm the chief of the uh, architecture evaluation branch. We're a new branch at, uh, that's being stood up at Nellis Air Force Base under the chief architect office out of uh, Department of Air Force at, at the Pentagon. ADE 5 is the architecture demonstration event 5. Um, it's actually broken into two phases, 5.1 and 5.2. Um, 5.1 was, uh, was performed already under an evaluation called Guide 3. Um, 5.2 is what we're currently evaluating now uh, under PAC Iron uh, with PAC F here at uh, Hickam Air Force Base. Uh, we have teams forward at, uh, at Guam, and uh, our chief architect team out there is evaluating the, the tactical communications and how they're going as part of this exercise, of the PAC Iron exercise. Um, the team here at Hickam is observing more of the operational, how um, orders get uh, created, how they're disseminated out to the field, and then observing those, the feedback from the, from the field, whether those communications were effective or not, and then getting into the daily flow of the operation. The importance of ADE is um, we're evaluating gaps in uh, architectures. Specifically, uh, this one, 5.1 or 5.2, was looking at uh, agile combat employment. And so the communications out at austere airfields uh, using like a hub and spoke uh, architecture and how resilient those, those, uh, that employment is. What we hope to gain out of ADE 5.2 is um, demonstrating this agile combat employment. Um, we've got to demonstrate the comms. Uh, you know, we're not at a, a big base with the infrastructure. We've got to demonstrate the ability to command and control forces out at these austere airfields. But that also includes getting support out there. Um, you know, and the easiest thing to think of is gasoline or, or fuel for the aircraft, but all the support that goes with just having people out in an austere location. So we're hoping to demonstrate that in an effective way, and, and this is kind of a baby step to then, in the future, demonstrate it in a larger exercise. I think this exercise is going really well. Um, we have identified, of course we've identified gaps, that's why you do exercises. Um, we've had some, some difficulty with the weather, but again, you're going to have that in real world, and that's one of the factors we would want to, we would want to simulate or, or, or exercise. Um, the communications from Hickam out to the field have gone well, uh, and they've been executing sorties and had a good sortie generation rate. So I would say overall it's been very effective. We've identified some gaps uh, that we are going to work on for future, uh, but that, again, that's how we learn and how we grow. I think uh, the thing that's important for people to know is that this is a, it's a process, it's an iterative process in that uh, we're getting after agile combat employment in this, this exercise uh, and information dominance. Um, however, we're going to take the lessons we learned from this and we're going to make it better and we're going to do it again in the future.